I spent 100 days using AI to upscale the icons for the GLA in Command & Conquer Generals Zero Hour. And today I want to show you the result. Just to introduce myself for anyone new around here, my name is Dominator. I'm a competitive player and content creator for Command & Conquer Generals Zero Hour. And in case you didn't know, there's still a massive online community. I'm mostly playing on Game Ranger and Radmin. This year, I streamed and commentated the World Series Grand Final, which had a $20,000 prize pool and nearly 3,000 live viewers. So make sure you subscribe and join my Discord channel if you love this game. So I found upscaling the GLA much harder than I did for the USA, which I did a few weeks back. And the reason for that is most of the USA icons actually resemble some vehicles in real life, which the AI finds easier. But for the GLA, the AI found it a lot harder. So for example, if we take a look at the Scorpion Rocket, it seems to be a real close-up of the actual in-game model. So the AI found it a lot more difficult. I also listened to your feedback on the previous video and I held myself to a higher standard this time, trying to get rid of as many AI oddities as possible. So I often found myself letting the AI generate thousands of images this time, but then maybe only choosing two or three of them to take forward and then using Photoshop to combine the best elements into just one image. You also have to remember that some of these original images are extremely poor quality. One icon, for example, that I had was 60 by 54 pixels only. And some images like the junk repair icon, I just can't make any sense of the original icon. And the AI couldn't work out where the supposed excavator is meant to be. For any icons that I found extremely difficult, with the help of Newgate, we ended up making a map with the same lighting conditions as the original icon and taking a new in-game screenshot instead of using the AI. One thing I realized whilst using the AI is that you can let it be creative, which often leads to a more high quality image. But the more creative you let it be, the more it differs from the original image. So you have to strike a balance. So if you have any comments or feedback, or maybe you're an artist who can help me in Photoshop with some of these images, please drop a like and a comment below. I do read all your comments and I'll reply to everyone. Also remember to join my Discord and we can arrange some games in there too. Enjoy.
Shall I push the button? Yeah! 